Kent piled on yet more runs on the second day of their LV County Championship match with Lancashire in Canterbury. Sam Northeast leading the way as he passed 1,000 championship runs this year. He started the second morning on seven, made out of his side's 235 for three, and he and night watchman James Treadwell were able to add 22 more to that in the day's first 10 overs. Northeast had a life when on 17, dropped at backward point off the bowling of Jordan Clark. But the bowler did strike with his very next delivery, Treadwell offering a similar opportunity to Hasib Hamid to go for 11 at 257 for four. Ben Harmison then came in and added 58 runs for the fifth wicket with Northeast against the second new ball, before the former Durham man turned a delivery from Tom Bailey to Toby Lester at short mid wicket. Before lunch was taken, Northeast had completed a 50 off 109 balls, and he and Darren Stevens then took over in an explosive afternoon session, which brought Kent 167 runs in 34 overs. Stevens has, by his own high standards, had a poor season with the bat, but here he was back to his best, and on getting to 39, he posted 13,000 runs in his illustrious first-class career, which dates back to 1997. He was especially good against the bowling of Leicester, who was playing in only his eighth first-class match. Stevens was in his 248th. This single took the 39-year-old to the 50 mark for the 93rd time, this one occupying only 59 deliveries from which he'd found the boundary eight times. He was at this stage dominating the scoring with North East, who was by now into the 70s. He did lose his way for a bit there, but fought through the hard times to push on towards his first championship ton of what has been a very good season for the 25-year-old skipper. He had become only the second man in second division cricket this year to get to 1,000 runs, the first time North East has managed that too. Seven times previously this summer, he had failed to convert a half century into a full one, but when he drove Simon Kerrigan over long off, after hitting the three previous balls for four, he had done it this time, the 11th hundred of his first class career being completed off 177 balls, his boundary count now up to 13 fours and that one six. His partnership with Stevens was batting Lancashire right out of this game, the visitors coming into it needing only five points for promotion but having to settle for only one with the ball. Stevens too went to his highest score of the championship season with this maximum off the expensive Carrigan, who did at least have a wicket to his name when next ball Stevens missed out on a long hop and found her me to go for 92, ending a stand worth 183 runs made in 38 overs. It was only a moment of respite for the spinner as North East now took him on, Kent now with more than 500 runs on the board. Northeast tried to repeat the dose a couple of balls later, but was stumped. His innings coming to an end after he'd taken 139 runs of 221 deliveries. The home team were, of course, enjoying themselves by now, and Ryan Davis became the latest of their players to hit Kerrigan into the distance. And when he was replaced by Stephen Croft, Callum Haggett did the same as the home team closed in on 550. A couple of runs short of that, Davis picked out Leicester in the deep off Croft to fall for 17. Haggett then going big again off Carrigan before the declaration came with a total on a massive 570 for 8. Glenn Chapel conceding 100 runs in an innings without a single wicket for the first time in his extraordinary career. Bad light and rain meant that Lancashire only had 10 overs to bat out before stumps were drawn. They knew that if they could get to 350 in 110 overs, then they would be celebrating promotion here, whatever the eventual outcome of this match. Hamid and Carl Brown got them off to a solid enough start. They ended the day on 25 without loss, with a real possibility that day three will be the one when they do earn promotion on this good batting surface. They are still, however, 545 runs behind their hosts.